So look, bro. This video right here. Let me make sure this filming because I'll be up there filming videos sometimes. Really going all the way in for like 15, 20 minutes. And forgot to press the record button. <laughs> I'll be up here. I'll be so hot. But look, this video right here, it's a Beyond Scare Straight, but it's a throwback, throwback. Like, your mama was a kid in 1978. You know what I'm saying? Evidently, uh, the law be trying to get kids up in, um, up in line for a minute, and they just not rocking with that, bro. It's just like, look, if you go to jail right now, you doing like two years, three years of a jail. You up there, when I get out, man, I'm about to be on my, sh I'm about to get me a car, apartment. I ain't messing with old girl no more. That's just jail, like jail talk, bro. As soon as you get out, you'll, do, you'll be doing the same stuff. I promise you. Beyond scared straight. I've never been in that program, but with the kids, bro, Craig, look, kids is naive. They gonna be there scared at the moment, but when they leave, they gonna be bad again. Rest in peace to Debo. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to Debo. The bro just died, what, yesterday? The reason I say that, because on Friday they was like, man, ain't nobody scared of Debo. He be like, shut the fuck up. When he do, I be quiet. <laughs> but when he leave, I be talking again. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how. I... Anyway, who trying to get that $50, though, bro? Who trying to get that $50, though, bro? Ghost man, I be trying, I be like, hey, it ain't up on me. I don't show no favorites. I rock with all y'all equally. I ain't got no favorite kids. Not calling y'all my kids, but at the same time, I ain't got no favorite supporters, no favorite fans, no favorite. Y'all support me, I rock with you, period. You know what I'm saying? Now let's go to the safe word. What working? What's up in this room? Uh, uh, what can we use? Oh, yeah. The safe word is 4K video. <coughs> <coughs> the safe word. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all be like, go so I don't know if they caught it. But when you said uh, the safe word, that whoop -de -whoop -whoop, that's what it is. Bro, don't try to run my channel. I ain't gonna be that petty, be like, hey, the safe word is 4K video, and y'all waiting on it. Meanwhile, I really meant it when I first said it. That's not that, bro. Y'all know the safe word coming in the middle of the video or the end of the video. And since y'all know that, I might be putting it in the uh, beginning of the video. But y'all think y'all trying to get over to go ahead and try to hear that first so you can get that $100. It's not happening, not today, bro. And I don't go sketch, I don't probably not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Probably not. Record, bro. We finna get into the video, though. Beyond scare straight. This program contains explicit language. Parental guidance is suggested. This program contains explicit language. So in 1978, they was able to say what they wanted on TV. It must be the times, bro. If y'all notice, the longer this world go, the more we. It's just not cool to be here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Them 80s babies decided that. Had it right. The 90s babies. Now the 2000 babies, bro. You can't even. Especially if your girl annoying. Back then we had house phones. It wasn't no cell phones like that. Fire the house. You can't talk to me. <laughs> Straight up. You're like, Dang, I want to talk to you. You know how she can. Bro. You could be asleep. She call your phone in the car. She call your phone at dinner with the homies or your mama. She call your phone. Bro. Females are so petty. They so petty. They will call you in your casket and be mad that you don't pick up. <laughs> Promise you. Why you didn't pick up? We'll just steal the years later. Then she mad for years you ain't answering. Bro, I'm gone. Like, I'm, I'm dumb. Rest in peace. Like, remember? I eat this. Anyway, let's get this girl again. I'm here for murder, kidnapping. Oh, this is 1978 for real. We got sexual desires. Who do you think we can get? And don't talk to me in the first place, and I don't like you. Get that shot, man. One punch. Punch me in my face. Then it's my turn. Now punch. Man, get that fucking. I ain't gonna say, then it's my turn. <laughs> Half of these dudes that's in this Beyond Scare Straight right now, woofing all this, yes, 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 rest in peace to them, because this was. They look like they're in their 30s and 40s, right? So let's say 1980. 90. 
it's just it's 30 years ago. And, yeah. <laughs> they wasn't no vegans back then, so I'm pretty sure that they, 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 they didn't expire. Or, I told you to cut it off. They been doing this. That's crazy. I'm Danny Glover. Look at that script. Oh, Danny Glover. A girl of scared straight. A grand I don't love her. That won but you, like your daddy, Ray Glover. Glover. Oh, that was Reggie Miller. 20 years ago. The original film follows 17 teenage lawbreakers who are taken inside Did you need the money back then? New Jersey's maximum security prison. In a raw confrontation, a group of hardened convicts called the Lifers tried to literally scare the kids into going straight. Now walk off with the dramaticness. Ah! <laughs> you know this is 1978. They had to switch the camera in the view for him to hang on to the bars. That was so dramatic. Look at the walk off to switch the scenes. Damn. Yeah. 20 years ago. The original film follows 17 teenage lawbreakers who are taken inside of Rawway, uh -huh. New Jersey's maximum security prison. <laughs> In a raw Here come the extras. A group of convicts called the lifers uh -huh. tried to literally scare the kids into going straight. <laughs> Tonight, after that was not cool. It was 1978. Probably was. But today, what's happened? Get your hand off the bar like that. Look like you got a little Are sugar in it. In prison? A little Are sugar in that. <laughs> We'll find out right after this special presentation of Scared Straight. It's beyond Scared Straight today with your old weird dude. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! If this was today, it would explicit and coarse street language. It's not intended for children's doing. Parental guidance is advised. This dude that's talking like that, I promise you. He got one of them short little, you know the bangs, females, black females wear them, but white boys, they wear the whole cut like that. He got the bang, he like 46, with a red suit and some glasses. Now that I said that, listen to your boy. <laughs> Ain't this him, look. Hold on, where we going, where we going, where we going? Oops, too far. Look, remember what I said he looked like? This thing of diamonds. <laughs> Over the past 20 years, are any of the kids in prison? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll find out. I'm gonna show y'all what I was laughing at real quick. <laughs> scared straight. If this was today, it would have ended right there to the next scene. But this, this is the '78. They didn't know what to do, but just let it run. But let me tell you what I was just laughing at. This program contains explicit and coarse street language. It's not intended for children's viewing. Parental guidance is advised. <laughs> over the past <laughs> Y'all like ghost blow. Oh well, y'all to see it, so I gotta show y'all one more time, bro. I know I'm not tripping, you know what I'm saying? I gotta show y'all one more time. I I'll point it out right here for y'all. The fool that directed this nigga, look, his name is Peter Falk. <laughs> Mr. Falk, what? Shit. I didn't do this, they did. I was, I, it's just like I caught it. I could see better when I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this program contains explicit and coarse street language. It's not intended for children doing parental guidance. Red suit, glasses, bang cut. These teenagers are going to prison. Now, I'll arrest three of the patients in order to stop them from breaking the law. They look like all squares. Let's be 100. Matter of fact, they look like, look. These Everybody looks so high. Surfing USA. Right? They look like they out of that 70s show. I know that was the swag back then, but shit, now we can clown. Back then, never mind. I ain't even gonna go there. Arrest the rehabilitation. Ain't even gonna go there. So now at age fifteen, breaking what law? Stealing cookies? Hey. Hey. The sentence will be short. Or 
only three hours. Okay. I like how they separate them. They not all in prison, though. You know what I'm saying? They not. Why the right group go first? 15, 16, and 17, they're going on the And then the black group. <laughs> it's sure. it's yeah, this was 78. I'm telling y'all, bro. This was 78. Let's see who get treated different. Ah, I'm petty, so what, shit. They call themselves the life. Together, they're serving nearly a thousand years. Nobody care, bro. Shut your old ass up. They're taking lives. They're not saving In a unique crime prevention... To try to get time shaved off. ...run by the convicts. Their goal is ambitious. Make juvenile delinquents go straight. Imagine yourself. <laughs> these youngsters. How do you feel about your victims? I don't really care. You know, whoever come, I'm going to get them. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. That's it. Yeah, look at salt and pepper. I feel sad about him for a while. Bro, we don't care that you stole the cookies. We can bake some more. Do not be sitting right there act like he just murdered. You know what I'm saying? I felt sad about it for a while. Did I forget about it? <laughs> you stealing cookies, bro. I can tell your type. Knock it off. If you don't know the person, sir. How you get a hickey in jail? Hold on. Hold on. Am I meant to something? I am for sure, for sure. Good. All is ambitious. Make juvenile delinquents go straight. Imagine yourself. If you don't know the person. My guy got a hickey in jail. <laughs> hey. Oh no, he wanted to visit or something. Well, that still ain't a good look. Even if you're going to visit somebody, how you. That felt good, bro. You like feeling good? You know what I'm saying? You, I'm sorry. Really don't think too much about it. Kiss on my neck. You know, around me at that time, you know, I just felt they be. I don't, I don't give a fuck about it. You know? Is that a church shirt? Today's prisons are filled with yesterday's juvenile delinquents. Convicts who entered crime even before they entered puberty. I don't remember how old I was when I first got in trouble. Me? Around nine? <sighs> around six, seven? Okay. Fourteen. Fifteen. 15, 14. He the most proud right there, though, bro. <laughs> Deion Sanders head out. Monday through Friday, juvenile offenders from New Jersey and New York. One thing I can't say about back then, I'm lucky I wasn't dressed like that. You know what I'm saying? Because they swag. They got nut huggers. Skinny jeans, skinny jeans today, We got you got the room. But back then, yeah, this is this, this what the ladies had to settle for. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't see. <laughs> Whoa. Police, judges, counselors, and probation officers. From the moment they pass through the metal detector, these young lawbreakers come face to face with the brutalities of prison. Sit over there. I don't care where they are. Sit over there. I don't care where they are. Right over there. Touch me some shit. Give me that cigarette. Let's go. Single file. Put them through processing. Stop over there. They're not around here. Single file. Let's go. Follow the sergeant. As the teenagers go deeper and deeper inside this maximum security prison, their arrogance and smiles fade. Cause they up in there with the big dogs, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. If you up in jail back then, you got a leather cat. Look, you got a leather jacket. All you balling. Are you was one of them dudes on the streets? You know what I'm saying? That one, right? What is that? Burgundy, red, whatever it is. How he got his hands hanging over the jail bars. If you look real close, he got gold on his wrist. He the man up in there. If you dress like that up in there, you the man for the simple fact anybody else would have got that shit took in two minutes. It's like that's too long, two seconds, you know what I'm saying? He, 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 he the one. Inside an oppressive and noisy cell block called the hole, 
prisoners locked in solitary verbally molest the young boys with homosexual taunts. Go ahead and get it. He said, You look just like her. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bring him in here. You want to be in my cell? You too. Give me that one over here too. Hold up. Hold up. You know, I, I ain't got the continuous battery, so I got to keep stopping it. Just keep stopping and starting my, uh, my thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you want to be in my cell? Yeah, I'm going to do something real nasty to you. Let's go. Let's go. Um, 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 yeah. Like 85% of them inmates, and they're not gonna tell you this, bro, but a lot of them depend on the guards. They look, they eat in front of the guards, they talk loud in front of the guards, they make sure they seen at all times by the guards because they don't wanna get hurt up in there. You know what I'm saying? They don't. And back then in 1978, it, the, 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 the electronics, the system wouldn't see every angle. Like, you was getting ran once you went to jail, bro. I'll just put it like hey, that. You I'm was getting back, ran. You know? That's the kind of person I am, you know? I consider myself a tough guy. That's what I consider myself. Good for you. I'm devious, you know? My hand's like mechanical, you know? I get other people's trucks, I hot wire them. I take everything, you know? That's just what I'm about, you know? I'm about looking for trucks. <laughs> the series, right? You don't even know him. Y'all in the program together. I say good, you know. And I'm going into um, security. Why y'all hoop earrings so big? To learn all about burglar alarms and things. How you go to security school if you can't say the fucking security right? Yeah. What school is this? You know, my hands like mechanical, you know. I get other people's trucks, I hot wire them. I take everything, you know. That's what I'm about, you know. I'm about looking for trucks. Bro, you was not finna set up no school to do that. Stop lying. I think I'll be a professional thief. If you say if I commit a he crime, dead now. I feel all right, you know, I come in, I'm happy, I'm gonna do it again, you know. I would take everything you have, if you give me the chance. Yeah, I'm lucky. Yeah. Still in possession. Man, if you don't hustle and get it yourself, man, you ain't no kid, bro. I, was like, I never killed anybody, you know. Hey, but, but I did slice a couple, you know, had slice somebody, you know, a couple of times. Yeah, it's worth it, though. This ain't Vlad TV, bro, chill. Yes, I think I can. Myself, I don't care, cause you know they gotta catch me first. I don't figure the cops out here bad enough to catch me, you know. <laughs> Jail is like a thing they talk about to me, you know. Oh, you ain't never went then, huh? Uh, you ain't never been, uh, he said jail is a thing, like it's a rumor. You come here with a one to two this nigga said jail is a rumor. <laughs> and I have a good mind of keeping here for two hours that we're gonna be on. That's what I mean, 1978. Today? You could sue the jail in the prison if they put you in something like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean by 1978. They had it. They had it rough back then. It's true. They had it rough. Thinking that you're so tough. You ain't tough. Why are you steal from people you don't average? Bro, who like beat you up? Man. Man. You would be someone. They got a black guy, a blue like one, and a green one. <laughs> Hey, who cut you on your neck? They don't have the money. Right? Bust your bottom sure. lip. This is all in the money. It's no, it ain't a car no accident. Money. Is your worst thing I ever done was drop this store. He got caught. You need the money, not bad. Bro, all these fools is beat up. I don't care what nobody say. Look, look at the. You can smell from there. Well, that nigga too black. You can't tell if he got a black guy or not. Two or life fit. Put you in a cell of this size. And I have a good mind of keeping you here for two hours that we're going to be on this tour. Thinking that you're so tough. You ain't tough. Why well, steal from people? Beat up. Average, in which I don't. If I steal from someone, it would be someone if I ever did steal. Like the bear one I got blamed for. Because they don't have the money right from their insurance. And they just, they just stolen the money. It's no, it ain't hurt no one there. The worst thing I ever done. Beat up. Two stolen. black eyes. They got caught. Beat up again. Uh, like, where? Why they all get? What? 
the group's gonna do something. Like I'm the kind of person to probably do it. You know. His lip, Everybody bottom lip, busted. Look. Where I am. His bottom lip was swollen. Lady, you know. Somebody rich. Let's go. Hold on, bro. Mm -mm. I be having to make sure my it is tight, you know what I'm saying? Or dope. Don't want it to end on me, and this reaction is an hour and a half. Hell no, we not finna do that. Part two, three, in the fuck on this, man. You know what I'm saying? I lock it up, dick. Sometimes I did things when I was drunk. And I worry back until next day. What you do with you? <laughs> Trim. Um, she don't even want to look normal. It's like a assault and battery charge against me. What I steal, I need and I want. And I just do it to satisfy myself, not to satisfy to anybody else or to prove to anybody else that I'm cool because I steal. I just do it to satisfy myself. <laughs> Well, that's why everybody These do kids it. look like the innocent boys and girls next door. <laughs> no, I ain't miss you, man. Various youngsters in this group have committed assault and battery, arson, auto theft, breaking and entering, burglary, personality. We get it. Shopping, vandalism. We get it. Just say a number of misdemeanors. Man. Narcotics. Illegal possession of weapons, assaulting a police officer. La -da, la -da, la -da, la -da. Their juvenile la -da. crime is hardly innocent child's play. They don't scare me. You know, they don't scare me. I think it's going to be great going in and seeing all them burnouts. I'm not worried. Seeing all them burnouts. <laughs> they come to me talking. I feel I'm a tall fag, you know. This fool is funny, bro. You're here for two hours. You belong to us for two hours. Everybody see these cars? But don't throw your glasses at me. Let me tell you something, man. When I ask a question, I want to ask for all y'all. Bro, you're the inmate on a program. I am not answering to you. Uh, whoever served him need to be slapped. I promise you. You there because you failed in life. Remember that. <clears throat> you there because you failed in life. What the fuck am I listening to you for? What you go? What you gonna teach me that you couldn't teach yourself? So you can't keep yourself out of trouble. You gonna tell me to stay? At, you know what I'm saying? They get out, then tell me something. I'm like, no, I'm not finna come here to jail. Then y'all tell. And I just listen, like, man. <laughs> you got life. Just shut up. See these cards. He don't even care about them. Man and pass it down. I want you to see them all. He got a lot. He got 27 years. <laughs> I'm not picking those back up, bro. You don't get all them cars, clown? Because if I tell you again, I'm going to break your fucking neck. After you see them all? Yeah. We'll try this the last time, man. The last fucking time. Don't get on oh, the floor, God. <laughs> <laughs> They got me mixed up, bro. They got me mixed up. Let y'all know that we ain't no social workers, no counselors. Bro, we know where we at. We are convicts. Every man you see behind me is doing over 25 years of life. So y'all ain't coming in and change nothing. Now it's better than school. Man, your overbite is serious. You, you wouldn't even be in a jail. And take a bite out of crime. And when you jump a person off in prison, you got to deal with the consequences. And we can get very physical up here. So we can start this now, right? Bro, why you didn't put this potential on yourself when you was out? I asked you again, nigga. I'm gonna come over here and break your fucking neck. Now I ask you a question. Can we get this started? I want to hear from all y'all. Yes. 
Ah! Buster! Man, we got the fishermen up here. Uh oh. You want to impress these bitches how tough you are? Any morning. He just called the little girl next to. This is a different kind of raw. He said, You want to impress these bitches? And I'm looking to the left. It's the little girl right next to me, man. <laughs> yeah. You want to impress them how tough you are? Well, impress them with me. I've been in this stinking cesspool 10 years, clown, and I ain't seen nothing funny. You sit here and you seriously believe you ain't never going to jail. In the 10 years I've been here, I've seen thousands of guys come through these joints. And I ain't met anybody yet that planned to come to prison. Right. That's the trouble with you clowns. Somebody's trying to give you something. I ain't met nobody yet that plan to come to prison, bro. Everybody that do a crime, I promise you, everybody that do when they figure they're going to do it, get away with it, be good. Remember, everybody that's watching this knows somebody that's been in jail. So I promise you, always go into it with the fact that you might get caught. And if you can't think of, oh, I steal a snicker and I get caught, I get banned from the store. If I rob a bank, I get caught, I get 15 years of life. If you don't think you can do that 15 years, bro, don't do it. Because now you're going to put everybody else in jeopardy that was with you because you telling on everybody. You know what I'm saying? Save us all. Save us. I just continue. We only smoking one blind a day. We broke. I just smoke one blind a day and be broke because you going to tell. You is. You about trumping them off. Well, keep trying me, jerk off. Keep trying me, man. Get up, motherfucker. You think you're together. Get up off that fucking bench. Get out of here, nigga. He just called him the N-word? I know. He is, clown. And I ain't seen nothing funny. Did he just call him the... You sit here and you seriously believe you're... Just call him a dick. This is a dick. I've been asking thousands of guys come through these joints. And I ain't met anybody yet that planned to come to prison. That's the trouble with you clowns. If somebody's trying to give you something, you're about trumping them off. But keep trying me, jerk off. Keep trying me, man. Get up, motherfucker. We call him a nigga. Look at this. Get up off that fucking bench. Get out of here, nigga. Get out of here, nigga. What the hell? What the hell? This is 78. Did none of the black dudes up here or nothing? And like y'all always say, I grew up around black people. This is the culture. This is the wooty woo. Well, we can tell he is not the culture, bro. He shouldn't be. Shit. Get out of here, nigga. Yeah, I'm here for this. And they was different back then. He is 48 in a kid body, trying to walk around like you swole. You so big. You know what I'm saying? Oh. One day you're laying on your blanket, and your mind is drifting over them 30-foot walls. And you're thinking about who's with your girl. When three guys will slide into your cell, wrap your ass up in that blanket, and I don't care how tough you think you are or how strong you might be, they're going to kick your ass over the side of that bed and do bodily harm to you. So what do you do? I'm going to give you five options you can take. I had to blur that out. <laughs> I had to blur that out. You say, officer, three guys just ripped me off. And you 
come back with the cop. You said that white guy. That black guy. That black guy. See these three guys that ripped you off? Yeah, they're gonna go in a hole for 30 or 60 days. And then they be back in population. But the administration, they know they can't leave you in population. Because one of these guys' associates will cut your ass from A to Z. So they gotta do something to protect you. PC it up. It's a place called PC. Told you. Protective custody. And that's where you will go. If you do a one to two, five to seven, twenty to thirty, like this, that's where you will do all that time. And when you're in PC, you locked up 23 out of 24 hours a day. You get out for one hour for exercise. And that's it. So see, you can't rap. But I know I got a lot of tough guys here. So when you get ripped off, First thing you're gonna wanna do is get even. You're gonna wanna get revenge. Now the best time to stab somebody in this joint is on a mass move. When you got over 1,300 wild, treacherous maniacs moving like a herd of fucking cows, going out there to the yard, the mess hall, all prayer to the movies. So you strap down with your shanky. Bo is dropping real game. I hope y'all are listening. Bo is dropping real game. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's exactly how they get down. And you see one of them guys that ripped you off. So you slip up behind him, you pull your shank, and you stick him. And when you stick him, you kill him. All you smart guys tell me, how much time you think the court's gonna give you for killing that man? Anybody. You a lifer, bro. That's right, they're gonna give you life. Not that they care about that guy you killed. Yeah. They care about you, but that's the way the system works. See, there's no such thing as getting even in these prisons. And that brings us to number three. When you get in and you get ripped off, maybe you decide, well, I ain't going to say nothing to nobody. I keep it to myself. But see, it don't work that way. Mm -hmm. See them three guys that ripped you off? They got associates. And their associates, they're about young boys, and they're going to come and rip you off. And then they got associates, and they're going to come and rip you off. And if you get anything from home, like a little food package, or some personal clothes, somebody gonna take that too. <laughs> Bro, so it's dropping you knowledge on y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is the number four. And this is the one you's all gonna take. In the ten years I've been here, I've seen it a thousand times. You're gonna walk around this joint, or any joint you might be in. And you're gonna find a guy that's real quiet. Nobody bothers him, and he don't bother nobody. He's got all the respect in the world. You're gonna approach this guy and say, hey, my man, I got a very serious problem. Can you help me? And after you run it down to him, he's gonna tell you, yeah. And it seems like five minutes after he say, yeah, it's like somebody got on a PA system and told 1,300 wild maniacs not to bother you. And now you're telling yourself, hey, this guy was all right. You got all this pressure off him. Now you owe him. did nothing. The only thing this guy did was he told population that you are his property. Mm -hmm. You are his kid. Mm -hmm. When you become somebody's kid in one of these joints, there's the things you gotta do. You gotta get up in the morning and get his coffee. You wash his drawers. You gotta wash his drawers and socks. <laughs> and if he wants some head, you will give it to him. Telling you, bro. And if he wanna, you will let him. And if he wanna sell you to another prisoner, they'll do that too. See, they're gonna put lipstick on your lips, earrings in your ear, and have you swishing your ass up and down these tears. Hustling cigarettes for your man. And for you tough motherfuckers like you. See, when you entertain the thought of telling this guy, no, nah, man, I ain't about that bullshit. I ain't gonna do it. Well, the only thing you telling this guy is to take your life, clown. Because that's what he's gonna do. I'm gonna drop part two on this, man. This video, like, 30 minutes in. Uh, I like, bro. That's why I'm gonna leave it off at. I like, bro. Y'all be careful, man. Rest in peace, King Nipsey. TJ Ghost, one.